Hello friends, we'll be discussing certain terms of bills that are supposed to be meant or that are supposed to be understood whenever we have to prepare the bills of exchange or promissory note. Let's understand them. So when terms of bills are supposed to be discussed, we'll be ideally discussing the tenure, the other terminologies like the maturity date, date of expiry, etc, etc. In this video, we'll be understanding what exactly these terminologies are and how they are framed and how a bill of exchange is derived using these terms or terminologies. Let's understand that. Now, the first term that we'll be understanding is the duration of the bill. Usually, the duration of the bill doesn't exceed 90 days from the date it has been drawn. So, whenever the bill has been drawn, from there 90 days is the maximum tenure that is given. It doesn't exceed but it depends on every individual or every person. Now, this duration is affected by two things. First, if it is after site bill. Second, the thing which is after date bill. Now, what does after site and after date means? After site is the duration of the bill starts from the day when this bill was accepted. So, if the bill or the question has mentioned that it is after site that means the duration whatever duration it will be 90 days will start after the acceptance has been received or after the acceptance has been done of that bill and if it is after date that means 90 days will begin right from the day when the bill was drawn first so that is after date and after site these are the two things that we need to understand so the duration is maximum on 90 days and within those 90 days there are two kind of things after site and after date after site will be something which is related to the thing when the acceptance comes into picture from that date 90 days from there and after date is when the bill was first drawn from that date 90 days from there so these are the two things that you need to understand let's go on to the next terminology the next term that we'll be discussing is the due date due date is that date when the bill is supposed to get expired or cancelled rather we can say that after that date the bill won't be effective at all so the effectiveness or the consumption of that specific bill can be done only until that date and that date is known as due date or the expiry date as well let's understand the next terminology that will be mentioned here now the next terminology that we'll be discussing is the grace period now every instrument be it the bills of exchange or promissory note has three days of grace period after the date of expiry that means if first of jan is the date of expiry then three days after that that will be second third and fourth so fourth will be the date of expiry then so because three days of grace has been added there so that day or fourth of jan will be the end date for expiry consumption that means three days will be still provided to pay up the bill that's how we calculate it now the last terminology that we have to understand in this topic of terms of bills of exchange is date of maturity this is arrived when we further go ahead and mention or figure out after three days being adding up to the previous maturity date that means if the bill was supposed to be expired on 1st of jan and adding three days to it it gets expired on 4th of jan then 4th of jan is the date of maturity that you have to think about so this is how you deal with the terminologies of bills of exchange i hope this video gave you a clarity about what are the things or what are the terminologies that will be using while preparing the specimen of bills of exchange and how we'll be going through it so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and keep subscribing to ekeda